This is welcome to Noah Beecher's Blu-ray haul of July 2021. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have a lot to go through, more than I expected actually, so hopefully this shouldn't be that long of a video. Um, join me down in the comment section if you've seen any of these and would you recommend them. First off, we have the David Tennant Doctor Who collection. Um, I have never seen any Doctor Who and I've heard that this is the Doctor to start with if you've never seen it. Let me know if it's any good. Next up, we have the Predator 4 movie collection on 4K and Blu-ray. I've never seen any of these, and I know people think that's an, kind of annoying I've never seen any of them, but I bought them so I could watch them all, and hopefully maybe one of my channel takes off to a little bit of a ranking video. Let me know if you want to see that in the comment section. Come on. Speaking of 4Ks, I have the 4K of one of my favorite Pixar movies, Ratatouille. One of my favorite Pixar movies that people think people pick on a lot, but I think it's one of the best Pixar movies ever. It's fun, it's funny, it's got great characters. It may be a little boring, but it's one of the only boring movies. I think, and everything that's not actually packed is boring, by the way, but this, I love it. It was really good, and if you haven't seen it, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, but if you haven't, go out and buy it. Yeah, okay, I'm about to get a lot of heat for this. Coming up, I found this at a thrift store, the 4K of Frozen. I really like this movie. I think it's extremely overrated, though. I've seen it a few times, and I enjoy it every time, but it's not the one of the French, of the two of them I want, would rather watch the most. I think the second one's better, but I still say go out and buy this one, especially since I found this one at a thrift store for 8 bucks, Blu-ray, digital, and 4K, and everything. Coming up is a movie I've never seen before that just came out of 4K in the last month and a half. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Last Action Hero on 4K. I've never seen it. It's one that I've heard so much great praise about, and I've been planning on seeing it, but I hope to watch it when I'm in the mood for a fun action movie. And this is this is a really cool thing. I got this on a website called Movies R USA. They do prints of various TV shows that, that people can't access them on the streaming services. They can buy them off their website. Movies R USA. Go look them up. They are phenomenal people and I got the first seat or the first season of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I've watched the first four, I have not watched the last two. Um, people have ruined the last two for me, but I'm hoping that I can watch it in the next month and a half and re and finish it. Let me know if the last two are good in the comment section. Come after that I have I've been looking for this but I never heard about what it was until a while ago. The watch. Basically, it looks like it's a city watch, people who are saving the world from trolls, werewolves, wizards, and other improbable, or they're, they pit, they pit the, them, which is trolls, werewolves, wizards, and other kinds of people into, I guess, a plot that, to wreck, resurrect the dragon, which would lead to the destruction of life as they know it. Sounds interesting, and it says it's based on Terry Pratchett's famous Discworld novels. Um, if you've seen this, let me know in the comments section if it's any good. I don't have any other TV shows to put in here. Okay. Now, some of the, the I'm gonna put these all on the pile here. Part for me for a second. Any other ones? All right. So these are my thrift store finds. I just got this one a few hours ago. The Level Up Collector's Edition of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I have not seen this movie, unfortunately, but I've heard it's a really fun movie. I've read the graphic novels and I really enjoyed them. Looks like Chris Evans is in it. I, I didn't even see that on the cover, but hoping it's good. Let me know in the comment section. Coming up after that is a Jason Statham movie that I have never seen. I just watched his movie Wrath of Man. Phenomenal. Go out and watch that. The Mechanic. I've heard from my YouTube idol Cody Leach that this is his best action movie. It's a remake of an old Charlie Bronson movie, but I prefer Jason Statham. It's got Jason Statham. Don't send win and I don't know who Ben Foster is, unfortunately. But let me know if it's any good in the comment section. And another thrift store pickup. A lot of these are from Savers, which is a local store that rocks at Blu-rays. Edge of Darkness with Mel Gibson. I've heard really good things about this one. I am a Mel Gibson fan. I just haven't watched a lot of his movies. Um, let me know if it's any good in the comment section. And last but not least on my thrift store pickups, I am a Stallone fanatic, and I found this at Goodwill. 
bullet to the head. I rented this from my local library, but then I was trying to decide which one to get, and then I saw that it had Han from Fast and Furious in it, and I said, gotta pick that up. Um, let me know in the comments section. I'm sorry I haven't seen a lot of these ladies and gentlemen, it's just I don't have, I have, I am a lazy butt sometimes. Alright, let's move on to new release, or things that are new that I picked up this month. I'm gonna start off with a big one for me. And you're gonna laugh. Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run. Now, I grew up with Spongebob and I watched this when it came out on Paramount Plus. I think it's my third or fourth favorite movie of the year. Um, if you're a Spongebob fanatic, I absolutely go out and buy this. It was only like 15 bucks when I bought it. It's the, the most touching Spongebob movie I've ever seen. Go out and buy it. Let's go with the other film I've seen in this collection. Space Jam! Uh, as a lot of you know, we just had Space Jam on the Legacy release. I have not watched it. Because I haven't seen the original in probably five or six years. Um, I remember really enjoying it, but I didn't think it was as good as everyone made it out to be. 7.50 at Target, and I picked it up. Let me know if it's any good in the comment section. Let's go with... The, oh, no, I just picked this one up uh, a week ago. Initiation. Um, it looks like a fun slasher movie on a sorority. And, and I'm a big fan of slasher movies. And hello. I've got a big collection over here. Um, let me know if you've seen how good it is in the comment section. Big the big horror release this month for us fans was the new Spiral from the Book of Saw. I've never seen any of the Saw movies. I tried to watch the first one, but I was on vacation, so I didn't finish it. If you like it, please tell me in the comment section down below. One of the big releases on 4K this month was Snatch. I just picked this one up yesterday. Um, I I just watched Guy Ritchie's movie and Wrath of Man, like I said, with Jason Statham, and I'm like, I was in like Guy Ritchie pick. I'm like, 20 bucks, I'll pick it up, I'll watch it. Um, I've heard it's his best movie. Let me know in the comment section if it is his best movie. Last new, big new release. Mortal Kombat. I tried to watch this and I couldn't get into it because I was tired from a day of work, so I picked this up. I, I tried to watch it, it was on HBO Max, couldn't finish it, so I picked it up in the hopes of finishing it. Let me know if it's any good in the comment section. This has all older movies that I've picked up for the first time. We'll start off with a movie I found at Dollar Tree. Dark Was the Night. The reason I picked it up was because of the two stars, Marissa Tomei and Timothy Oliphant. Love Marissa Tomei as Aunt May in the Spider-Man franchise recently, and it... There's a few of them I was going for, but then I looked at the back and I'm like, oh, this sounds interesting, so let me know those in the comment section or did I waste my dollar on it. One that I picked up this month was Flatliners. I've been looking for this for cheap for a long time because I watched Kevin Bacon and I think it was Kevin Bacon in The Hollow Man, and I really enjoyed it and I said, if you like The Hollow Man, watch Flatliners. I'm like, okay. So I found it for four bucks on Amazon and I picked it up because it was cheap. Let me know if it's any good in the comment section. It looks like a really good cast, though. One I have to thank Quaid Leach for recommending, and just found it for seven bucks on Blu-ray. Small Soldiers. Never seen this one, but this is one that I've heard is a really good adult. It's PG-13, which I didn't know animation could be PG-13. But I have like three or four of them in my section over there, and let me know if it's any good in the comment section. Like I said, I didn't see any of these. Two more to go. I picked up Nightbreed on Screen Factory. Um, I've been wanting to find this. It was cheap enough. I'm like, I'll snag it. It would, looks really good. And it looks like a fun movie that I will enjoy. If you're a horror fanatic, you've probably seen it. Let me know if it's in the comment section. And, the, and then, yes, I was everyone's wondering, where did you, did you do anything with the Criterion Collection? I did get one Criterion Collection movie. The Irishman Blu-ray. It's the... Uh, Criterion has been doing a or half off their collection, they do it every July and November. I mean, picking more up in November since that's my birthday month. So, um, I've just won a bunch of awards. This from Netflix. I'm a, I've never seen it, but I, I have to find the time to watch it. Even though it's really long, I have to find time that I'm interested in it to watch it. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Please let me know what you think of my videos. What do you think of this? And let me know which ones you've seen in the comment section. Which ones would you recommend I watch first? Thanks for joining me, and as always, Keep it cool.